removing fat or transferring fat. I'm mm -hmm. healthy, but I don't like the way I'm looking. You have those pounds where you need them to be in the curves. A part of the body that mm -hmm. somebody's been trying to fight for a long time. How can you work out there, doctor, right. saying like, please help me out? Or sometimes they're doing a lot of squats, but then yeah, the course. muffins, you know, are still showing. They're stubborn, those muffins. I'm gonna be conscious, right? Yes, all the, all the time. Body's this is just a already. treatment to take a little fat from one part and put in the other. We're continuing conversation with Dr. Christian Farhad. Thank and I'm a voice of so many, not only women, because you had um, friends of ours that were coming to your clinic, male, like men who were thinking about their kind of beauty but the beauty subject goes on and on and on and it has so many names and i know with edging process everybody's thinking about the best recipe the best method of making themselves prettier healthier looking good looking younger to rejuvenate to regenerate Whatever word we use, it has to reflect our presence. Of course. And we're meeting here today, and I'm so delighted to ask you all the questions that I'm being asked. And because we're getting a little bit out of the pandemic mood, I think it's a perfect time for people who are thinking about vacation, going out, meeting someone new. I got my vaccine, now this, what? Uh, right? What's next? What now? Yeah, what's of next? course, I get it. So I know you have incredible method that we've been um, watching you uh, doing, which is a little bit called like liposstructure. So we can structure our body differently, reducing fat, removing fat, or transferring fat in different places. What is this about? Well, first of all, you know, now it's basic. You were talking about now males getting into the action to trying to get right. freshen up, look much younger, you know. Uh, Creating six packs, having muscles. Just imagine the couple of years we be having, yeah. you know, economically and, and then health wise. So this thing is sad. starting to stabilize. We're going to get to a point where you have to go back. The mask is not going to be able to cover everything exactly. anymore. So then people are going to start like to show signs of aging. Retrieving happiness. You know, all the stress that's been done with I this agree. couple of years is being, you know, it's just eating them up. Stressful. So the normal question is, Doc, mm -hmm. I'm healthy, but I don't like the way I'm looking. I need something to boost, to refresh, to right. start anew. What can I do? So we have different options. Okay. Now, one of them could be the lipos liposculpture. The idea is to mold the figure. Okay. You won't lose any weight but you'll shape it in the way you want it to be. You have those pounds where you need them to be in the curves. And everybody has it on the wish A little bang, a little bang. Just imagine. There you go. Women want to get of rid of their ab the abdominal, you know, extra fatty, fatty areas. You've been closed they up so much. Their, You're going yes. to the beach and then... They want to eh, look there we go. ready. Of course. So what to do. So liposculpture would be amazing for those patients that are in there around their weight okay. but they want to shape it okay now those patients that are not overweight but you know they're aging you know the natural filler for the body is fat so they, we do have a function for it guys it's so not only looking like having the tires etc et i would cetera. understand that you're fighting with a very stubborn part of the body that mm -hmm. somebody's been trying to fight for a long time of course okay. the idea is those healthy patients you know they work out they okay. have eat well they eat well healthy enough they have a good lifestyle but you know when how many of us have the same issues of course <laughs> one thing is with clothes on you know and another is in baby suit. Right. We put the old jeans and the button has two, three inch yeah, difference. you know, the waist, it pops over here, yeah. the belt lines. It's always something. Uh, you know, it's very common today in, in, in guys, they're having issues with the pubis. You know, they drop down a lot of weight, but they remain, they remain there just a little tad of fat and they 
how can you work out there, doctor? Right. Saying like, please help me out. Or sometimes they're doing a lot of squats, but then yeah, the course. muffins, you know, are still showing. They're stubborn, those muffins. Or yeah. the little bacon on the back. We, we can call it, we can <laughs> yeah. put the entire kitchen on the island. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> the idea, well, once we get rid of it, that's one part of the equation. And the other one is, well, what we can do with it. Okay. We, we can even move it around. You know, the normal filler, the natural filler under the skin is immediately is the fat. So once we start losing the fat in, when we drop down a lot of weight, for example, I had people that they're doubling hours in, in the gym that now they're open again. So they're overdoing it and they drop down a lot of pounds, but you know, they don't have the skin effect. is starting to become flappy. Right. They're starting to see, you know, big signs they're getting the, older yeah they look you know de depressive they look kind of sad or other the, the facial expression it was, it's like anger you have the, no so of what course. we can do to smooth that out so you're we can putting take, the patient on the table uh -huh, with local anesthetic completely okay. safe the guy's awake it's not very invasive no of course not okay. we're talking about grams of it's fat it's not the liposuction no no this is lipo sculpture because we're different. not throwing it away that's important. we're not gonna waste it in the machine you know that immediately will make the the fat um unstable melt. it's gonna melt down mm -hmm. it's it, it's very difficult to reuse because usually that fat you're gonna reabsorb and you're not really gonna get it there for a long uh, for the long how term. many layers or colors or of fat you can have well we have from three to two depending okay. the area okay. for example legs have two you know upper layer or younger fat and old fat or hard fat they have different names for it or structural fat okay. Or, or maybe brown fat, depending what, which author you're reading, you're gonna get different areas. Which one is easier to remove? The lighter, the new one. Usually carbs, secondary to carbs. It's a, it's a very yellowish, very um, smooth the, in the process of getting it out. It's, it's, it's an in and out thing. And it's great for in hertz or fat graft transplant. So the dark one, the, the fat that you, it's for ages, let's call it. Well, you, the have, been, one. you have been fighting for ages yes. with it. Just imagine but how much removable. fibers it had inside. Mm -hmm. It's hard tissue, it's old tissue with bad circulation. So it's not pretty good to have that on the face and the cheekbones, for example. So which one it, goes it, as, as a, a filler, filler? The new one, that oh. it's shiny, brand new, good, new circulation. <laughs> and it's gonna stay the longer because I can put whatever fat you want, but you know, after a month, two months, three months, the old one is gonna start to reabsorb and in around four months time, you're gonna look the it's same. It's gonna be the same process. So it's a rip off. So right. th that's a very common thing that usually we don't explain to our patients. So you have to be very careful. You have to choose the site of, of donor. And I would imagine that it's a very safe method only because I'm particular about going under a knife. I uh, would be too. I would never oh, do course, it. So, and, the full and I know a effect. lot of friends, they're always looking for a very non-invasive okay. solution. But mm -hmm. uh, going with the transfer or removing the, the fat, is it safe to or easy for the adaptation of the this, yellow one? Well, if you're only using grams, remember, we're not talking pounds and pounds right. and pounds because you're not you're only molding. Mm -hmm. And you're only filling. How much you're gonna need? Maybe 40 grams. Okay. 30 grams. Right. 20 grams. The chin, for example, you can get the contour of the chin. You can right. have uh, slim down, maybe a little bit the cheek, uh, the cheekbones. You can have only the filler here, here. Those anger lines over there, or those weary and you know sad lines over there. Depending, you're talking about grams. So it's an in and out thing. We're talking about an hour, the whole procedure. You're awake. You, after you're done, you go have your meal. You can enjoy your say, uh, yourself. Um, I have to abusive. reveal the truth about myself because I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm very honest. I came to <laughs> Dr. Christian after 20 years of carrying a little bump after two C-sections. I my, was not the one to reveal. All, no, but all <laughs> my friends know I have two sons and it happened years ago. I'm gonna do a treatment of my life. After having two kids, so many unstressful clients. Yes. I'm here in Mexico, Querétaro. I'm gonna be conscious, right? Yes, all the, all the time. 
Why this is just a treatment to take a little fat from one part and put in the other. That's how I call it in short. <laughs> you cannot hold the truth from spandex right. and those tight pants, you know. And in I, the, in I didn't want to use too much spandex because uh, it's not I know. comfortable at all. I know. But the thing is that this method gave me the ability of wearing bump the removal clothes. it's a bump removal now you see it now you know it, it, it's gone <laughs> it's gone and it's been two years and i was concerned that this is gonna come back and it's still staying flat. give me your experience being bumpless okay the bumpless experience is i go shopping and i don't need to put on 20 dresses i got two yeah. three and they're all looking good you love dancing the, how about those oh my tight dresses you can they're really like, use now you know what this is like a little bump and you would think it's nothing because i you yeah. know i'm i'm never gonna be wearing bikini in front of thousands of but people it's so i don't need to sad to but, be flat on your stomach so you do the work in the gym but when you have something tight on, you kind of see like you're always swollen, like, you know, or maybe ba even right. backed up. I don't know. It, it's it's so sad. And the closet was like straight, bumpy, straight, yeah, and it's been with me for 20 years. But now it's gone. I'm so happy. And a lot of people are asking and Bam. asking, what have <laughs> I done? This is exactly what I did. And I'm... And it was the best decision of my life. First of all, it was not painful. Secondly, being in the real estate business, I was able to lay down, you're doing your work, and I was on the phone doing my work. That was How incredible. How much time did you take to, to, you know, to go your normal step? Because like, I know I had to stop you from going sightseeing the next day, <laughs> which with, I suggest take it easy, but, but you still can I walk. I didn't listen go. to Dr. Christian. <laughs> I went to the park with all my bandage on. <laughs> And so the Mexican spirit, no, took over and I had to Perfect. dance, but nothing, likely nothing you happened. You dance. This is, is becoming a talk show, revealing stuff. I was here I didn't with my know that. dad that got his health back and I was so emotional that it pushed me to another step. I was dancing. I have to but, tie you. Right. But oh. for anybody who who is thinking about those, I call it stubborn mm -hmm. areas, because mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. working out, I was eating well, I've been doing so many things. No, I had I private it. training. It's like sometimes there is an area that you cannot no. poke too much because not, you're not gonna see the result. So this is it, but I know a lot of my friends. But when you, how long did it take to remove the bandages, to remove, you know, and, you and know start what? walking like normal? I'm pretty capable with pain, so for me, uh, in a scale between zero and ten, I was able during the procedure to do my normal thing like phone calls, talking and reacting. And like you said, it's not an anesthetic that it's going to knock you down. We have now finished uh, with the anesthetic procedure on the whole front part from, I have no idea what's behind from the, the sternum to mm -hmm. the pubis and all the sides. Do you have any pain until now? No. Be honest. And I'm very honest. It was just tingling, but um, no pain. It was like a little mosquito bites, acupuncture, acupuncture, you know, needles, but nothing major. And then after, I was the person who never took the painkiller and a Perfect. pill and a medication. It's very tolerable, right? Right. And you take the yeah. antibiotic just for the protection. You take because a few depending things. Depending the area, right. you know, you could have a little sweat. You could right. get a little dirty. You're moving you, around. You, you could, could be yeah. a little bit more uncomfortable and you wear the corset, you know, la paja yeah. that you and call. And it's worth to be cautious, you know, but because, you know, I have some better. patients, I don't know, I want to say names, but they go just go sightseeing <laughs> just fresh out of the operating room but eh. for one day it's still a leaking process because i understand during the procedure you put a lot of liquid yes the, the, for yeah, the yes anesthetic. to liquefy also right. the fat the fat so it helped me the, with the, the needs salt to leave process. your body of and course. after that believe me after four or five days i felt like new me it one was the discolored questions they always give me does it come back the bump to be honest. Do you feel bumpy again? Okay, this, this is not a Give secret. us the no, cold the, hard No, truth. the bump is gone and I know I've been using some laser, I have some gels, algae, you know, everything natural just to keep it smooth and elastic. Perfect. But the bump is totally gone. 
and this so was so excellent. hard and so unbumpable. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in that way, I just want to tell you that the discoloration went away after maybe like a week or two weeks max. Excellent. This is from poking me from from both well, sides. Well, they're, they're two minor incisions, uh, two and millimeters. Like two yeah, yeah, little, yeah. you know, holes that you were able to get inside. So this is this is almost gone. Perfect. And it's perfect, but. Um, you know, this is we're not gonna sugarcoat the, the whole no, procedure. No. We want to tell the truth. So people need to understand that this is a combination. After the procedure, because I know one person who did it wrong and went back all the way with bad food, no exercising, no, you know, uh, the uh, life change is crucial and it yes. goes together. Th th this is sometimes a little bit hard to understand. You, right. you think I um, already had the surgery. I'm good to go. Yes, right. you are. But this is like removing the stock you had to keep to throw it away. Going. But Absolutely. then if you restock, you're going to fill up again. Right. So eventually after a year, two years, if you overdo it, you're, you're going to get extra pounds. But so, still, it's hard. It's easier to slim down again. Exactly. But, well, I would think it's for patients who are self who, who are self disciplined, like they're going to do it their way with at least a little, little life change yes. conscious no, of not the idea is if you want to brag going you can. for bad choices yeah yes. but, you know take care of the body a little bit so removing fat is one thing and then transporting it into different body parts is it's another, another ability it's of a, course it's it's a modulation right mm -hmm. and um that's um gonna keep for a longer time yes of course remember in the first week it's like a play-doh it's something that it's, it shouldn't be there normally because it wasn't another part. And, and it takes time the body to create new blood vessels and actually retain the new fat there. Because it's like cells you're putting into cells, your body cells, is adapting but your no own but no blood vessels. Stuff. The blood vessels you're gonna create in the next three to seven days. So that's why when they have extra gluteus, for example, or extra breast, for example, with fat transfers, okay. it goes well, but it takes time. So you have to be wary how much time you're sitting, how much time you're walking, how much time you're wearing a bra that, that squeezes you, that, that you know generates a little bit the, 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 the form, the aesthetic part. So you have to be what a little wary the first week. What is the most common part that people are asking you to fix? We have two areas. Let's say uh, one would be minor fat grafts, okay. would be uh, aging lines, okay. you know, crow's feet, brow, over here. Removing or filling it? Filling, filling okay. it as a filler. Mm -hmm. That'll be number one. And the other one could be um, the booty. Mm. Nice, round, smooth. Hollywood style. Well, there you go. In Mexico. But, um, okay, so this, the, the, it's... But it's different. Once we're talking face we're talking 30 40 50 grams tops okay and booty we're talking about 500 grams for each cheek okay so we need a good uh, amount of amount fat. of fat to gather first top quality i think it all depends yeah. on the individual patients of and course the and the body structure. So I remember my friends who were trying to get a consultation, they were sending you pictures and you were FaceTiming with them just to estimate the amount of work. Yeah, and the expectation, and what, what they wanted to have done, exactly. what, what they wanted to project, what area was the first you know, priority, and then we go down in the list. Right, and the last thing that you offer to your, to your patients and it's absolutely associated with the beauty treatments is the procedure that you do for the face. And oh, I was well, that... the one who did it twice, like a lot of needles, a lot of stem cells inside, got it, got a lot it. of masks with stem cells. <laughs> it's like you do it, you already feel younger. And I'm yeah, coming back course. to the United States and after a few months, my skin is like screaming and missing it. I so I know the weather and, and uh, food and everything here is uh, beyond belief. But, uh, but on the regular basis, we're struggle. We have to wake up it. early. We don't sleep enough. Sometimes we don't eat, um, you know, the good food that we expect. So we're, we're not going the perfect schedule as we promised to ourselves. And sometimes. you don't have maybe the time to do a facial, hydrating. Right. You, you don't have the time or, or even want to have, you know, 
one cream for this, one cream for that, another. Do you believe in creams with stem cells? Or it's way stronger to put them inside of your Look, face? Everything physically. has its own function and indication. We have lots of stem cell based creams around, but usually they're vegetable based stem okay. cells. And we are not vegetables, but <laughs> vegetable based stem cell creams mm -hmm. could help you hydrate a little better than normal creams. Right. That is true. They're gonna regenerate and you're gonna maybe feel like 15 years younger. Well, no guys, it's just a, you know, just a vegetable. You're not right. even near. <laughs> so, uh, in a what, molecular level. What would you recommend for, for people who want to have this blushy, fleshy, younger effect on their skin? You know, I know it's not a miracle, but something that is how working. How to boost the inner beauty in that skin. How to right. draw out the best of mm -hmm. that, that face, of that skin. We usually mix different techniques. You know? Local anesthetic, cream when you're not feeling anymore, good deep cleansing, and then we could try opening up those pores. How key we can boost how much absorption you're gonna get in the in the skin. Because okay. it's not the same you're applying something topical that you open up the pores with microneedling. Higher percent ratio absorption rate of the skin. It makes a micro pore just a couple of seconds long before it closes itself, just long enough so the active substances go in and enrich the skin. And you're boosting up up to 3,000 the, the percent the absorption level. So we apply different active substances to hydrate, to, you know, to remove the, the fine lines, to remove uh, pigmentation of the sun. Collagen. Exactly, to boost collagen production, elastin production. So you're gonna have, you know, just with that, you're gonna look tighter in the skin, you're gonna look much fresher, but then we're gonna go through the facial expression, the body uh, type, and what the patient really wants. We can go a little Botox, we can go a little PRP to regenerate the skin, then we can go with dermal stem cells to try and boost a specific section or try to remove uh, those hard cases of acne, those issues with uh, immune system related skin issues, uh, burns, you know, uh, scars, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. We can put local enzymes to try and boost, you know, remove bad fillers. We can apply good fillers. Um, we can have PDO threads for the lifting. We have, you know, radio frequency. We have a bunch of laser, a lot of stuff, depending on the case. So many options that Healings. it's hard to choose. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, it depends a little bit on the skin type, the age of the patient, and how much damage is right. there. But all in all, we can always reach a middle point where you're always going to look, you know, and stay younger, fresher look, but without removing your normal characteristics of your body, if your facial expressions. If it doesn't hurt, it's not going to damage anything. Of it's course. just going to improve it. Well, like I said, I'm asking so many questions <laughs> because we're coming here a few times a year and we're always with a group of people and it's just making our hearts you know smiling even more and, when you and, see and what's those up happy crying faces. because it's always like bursting of so many messages sometimes you cannot even because, go through them all you know you, you're changing their lives oh, you right. you changed ours and it's not only health and beauty but they feel stronger they feel healthier and they are motivated to keep going the of good course, path and this, i think that's is the just most a big important push but once you right. open the door and Some you start, you look better, mm -hmm. it's much easier to say, you know what, I'm going to eat better. You know, go, you know what, I'm going to try a little harder to drink a right. little extra water. Right. I'm going to buy that cream to maybe, you know, pamper myself. You know, I'm going to get that dress. I'm going to get that gym you subscription, you know? Yeah. You spend so much money on things that yeah. don't matter. And if you invest into yourself and if you do those little natural, you know, looking changes, you feel just fabulous. Of course, you know, we usually forget that we're, we are very visual. You f look better, right. you start to feel better. Even though if you're feeling very down in the deep side because you're not happy with the whole situation, every day you feel much better. It's easier to actually, you know, grab the strength to start something new. And this could be, you know, maybe the excuse for a new you. Right. So it's worth it. So whatever we eat, that's how we look. 
And with all the additional changes from Dr. Christian, <laughs> I know a lot of women in Illinois are walking already with very stretchy, beautiful clothes. They're going with full confidence vacationing and showing the bikinis. And men also reducing here and there, whatever is unwanted. But um, if you have any questions, I think we're going to meet with Dr. Christian many times. And the plan is even with the group that is uh, coming soon. Perfect, because yeah. everybody wants to um, touch a different angle and everybody is different. So we're going to try so to we're gonna get go the recipe. Bit by bit and hopefully we'll eventually have all the different takes. So try to uh, keep in touch. And are the patients allowed to have a glass of wine? Being yes. in Cancun, it's yes, a perfect spot to do it. You know, one glass, one of, glass wine of, gli of wine has antioxidants and it helps you with blood flow circulation. So Just benefits, nothing else. Thank you so much. We, uh, we, you know that we love you. Uh, and thank you for appreciate... taking the time and, and, and listening to me. Thank it's you not so much. that I'm trying to um, throw you all the compliments, uh, but <laughs> transforming the bodies and health of people means more than any word that we can express today trying to explain how it works you just need to try it you have to have a willing to make those changes and continue a good vibe in your life but thank you so much no you're so 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 welcome and whatever you need i'm here for you